One thing I've noticed every day that the crew will clean up before leaving. They sweep up everything nice and neatly and then they start the day uh, fresh. So right now it's almost 5 p.m. They're getting ready to leave for the day. What? Huh? The car sneaked into your car. Did you get it out? <laughs> Was he sleeping in there? <laughs> So there are a lot of uh, feral cats around here and uh, they cat snuck into each other's car. <laughs> Hi folks, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, so uh, welcome back. If uh, you have been watching us before, if you are new, this is an IKEA renovation uh, and here in rural Japan. And we are doing a rather extensive renovation for the past six, seven, eight months or something like that. Um, but uh, so we should be done by July 9th on around of 2023. So please stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and just give you all a quick update of what's going on in the house. And uh, so uh, please stay tuned. There's a full crew earlier today. We had, I don't know, at least 10 people, the electrician, uh, was here running the electricity to the house. Um, the the shikui concrete folks and the regular carpenters that Kayaki-san uh, from Asahi, the company, hires. Okay, let me go ahead and turn this around and uh, show you guys around the house. All right, so I'm going to try to make this uh, somewhat informal. So just kind of making it through this nice new door. All right, so walking in through the Genkan. Uh, earlier today, the one of the older senior carpenters that Kayak-san employs, uh, he's the gentleman that was sick before. Uh, he is working on this little, uh, what we're calling the kind of a broom closet as soon as you walk in the house. All right, so let's like, make it into the house. Like I said, we had a full crew today and throughout the week and working very hard. So... Uh, Couple of new things that I have not pointed out before. It seems like every time I come in, there's something new that I didn't realize was going to happen. Maybe is the, uh, you know, obviously because uh, my Japanese is not that fluent. So um, I, you know, lost in translation, I guess. But one of them is this uh, X frame right here uh, to further stabilize the house. So. As uh, if you have been watching before, it's a rather open concept here in the house. So we had to remove some walls and, and, and whatnot. So that's the purpose of that. Then it's a very, seems like very sturdy, very well built. Okay, so moving on, we have these huge beams that were installed right here uh, in order to accommodate the fireplace. So one other thing that has happened this week is you see right there the exit for the chimney where the fireplace will go right, right pretty much right there where that ladder is at uh, because we had to remove a load bearing pillar that was right there. That was the reason for these large um, beams that were installed. And again, I, I, I covered this on the video before. And if you would like to see how they did that, it, it took them all day to install these impressive huge beams. We also have shikui throughout the house. Not everything, but it's getting there uh, where there's not shikui, there's pretty much sheetrock, like right here. Um, most of the sheetrock has been installed throughout the house. There's a few spots here and there that not quite, but uh, yeah, so maybe next week or so that should be almost done. Looks like we're getting ready for the kitchen. So the backsplash area uh, is installed and the kitchen unit should be here soon. And the pantry slash kitchen annex uh, is right here. And it looks like the uh, sheetrock and the uh, little shelving units right there, adjustable shelving uh, units have been installed. All right, let's go ahead and make it through the house a little bit more. Uh, yeah, this uh, this natural wood that was installed, that was kind of my request. Uh, uh, when we were discussing what we were going to do for the ceiling, uh, we really wanted wood as well. But if you, uh, later on, when you're able to see the rest of the house and the wood floor, but all this is 
is a wood floor and it's going to have the same color, same look as this, this strip right here, right? So I was kind of in a dilemma. I, I didn't want it to look too woody, if that makes sense. So, uh, and I also wanted the beams to pop out. So I thought the shikui would be a good, good look. But then I took a look at this area right here. And I, so I just asked Kayak-san, let's go ahead and do a strip right there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't look too funny. Let's see, the electrician has been in and he's, he has been working outside right now for the most part installing the electrical panel and running the light from the light pole. So yeah, there should be plenty of uh, electricity and outlets throughout the house. Just pretty much like a new house. Oh, it looks like uh, here in the closet, they have installed some of the shelving units as well. Well, this getting ready for it. And as covered before, the shower unit is already installed. That has been installed since like May 13th or so. Oh, uh, never mind, they taped it up, so my bad. And yeah, so this is the sink area. It looks like they're all ready to throw some shikui in there as well. And the laundry room. This was an addition that we added to the house so that we could have the washer and dryer separate from the uh the sink area and so we're gonna have a stackable unit right there and one of the other is uh, other um i guess um items that we asked to install was this little like a little counter uh there's gonna be some shelves down there so that um, when we're washing laundry we can fold clothes and stuff like that and with a hot and cold water sink right here for, you know, you never know when you come from outside, you just need to wash up some dirty stuff. Let me see if this door is open real quick. Yeah, it's nice open. And this is going to the outside. So this is where you can see that the electrical is being ran from that pole that's on the side of the house. And on this side of the house is where the new entrance for the electricity would be. Yeah, like I, I covered before, really impressed by the woodwork and uh, everything, even in the in the laundry room. Uh, and kind of funny story I was talking to Choco the other day is that when we were uh, doing the plans, we we wanted like a sunroom, and uh, I, I would say that we were not talked out of it. But basically, he he suggested that. Um, those little sunrooms, they eventually they will weather and leak and just they're just not a permanent structure, right? So he suggested we we go with that. Now I'm really happy we did. It's probably a little bit more expensive, but that's a permanent fixture in the house right there. Uh, so right here, the they, they already changed the the uh, I guess the ceiling to the genkan area, and the loft is coming along as well. That's pr almost done. Most of the work is done other than the railing. In the minute when I make it over there, you can see the little cubby hole to enter. And uh, yeah, so they uh, another thing they installed this week is this uh, new uh, framework right here is where the shoji door will go. And like I said, that is our bedroom over here. And this is at the time where I'm standing, but it's kind of like a, we'll be able to make the bedroom bigger. So for those of you that uh, have not been following us along, uh, I've kind of mentioned it before, but we're empty nesters. So we're not worried about uh, having a lot of extra bedrooms in the house because we only have one bedroom in the loft for the granddaughters. And uh, outside we have a little guest house. So that is how we are going to accommodate our guests. And then upstairs, when I make it up to the craft room, which is almost done, uh, you'll be able to see that there's plenty of room and we need to just lay out more people. But yeah, so here's another view of the loft from the bedroom side. Really impressive work, in my opinion. It's kind of an old style, these pegs right here, how he did it. And it's hanging from the original uh, woodwork beams of the house. Again, this house is not super massive. Uh, I think it's around 1,600 square feet, so really not a whole lot of room for a loft. Uh, we just kinda, 
I don't know, we saw one at his house and we said, yeah, we want that too. <laughs> so yeah, uh, copycat, I guess. Uh, the new framework for the door that's uh, leaving the bedroom into the bathroom area real quick. All right, let's go ahead and make it up to the to the loft. Another thing that had they completed this week, here you can see all this beautiful gooey right here. They finished this already. This happened this week. Well, I'm really loving how the white and the, the bare wood, natural wood shows. Beautiful light coming in. Right now it's around 5.30 p.m. or so. <laughs> and this is, yeah, this is the little cubby hole entrance into the loft. <laughs> As uh, discussed before, not the best, not the most practical, but hey, it's all fun. I think it's probably about a little bit over five feet tall over there in the, in the center. Again, so eventually it was sort of for storage and for the little girls. Okay, so, and there's a lot of echo here in the craft room, so... Uh, if you're wondering, again, if you're new, if you're wondering what I talk about craft room, so this is my wife's kind of uh, hangout area. This is going to be her place, and she likes to sew and do different crafts, so this is where she will be, right here where I'm standing. I'm standing at the doorway, but there will be a sliding door right here that will go up against the wall. And uh, so, yeah, so this originally used to be two bedrooms with two closets, in a little hallway right here. So we tore all that down um, and then added a half bath right here where one of the closets used to be. And again, that framework is already complete. The shikui is complete in there. Looks like they're getting ready to install the toilet unit pretty soon. And talking about toilets, yes, it's one of those heated ones and that do all that fancy stuff for you. And looks like this door, this window's open. Let me go ahead and close it. Yeah, so this is going to be the craft room for my wife. And uh, so it should be plenty of space. And it will also serve as a uh, guest area when we have extra guests. But then uh, so they can chill out over there in that area. I'll lay out some futons, Japanese style. We were in here earlier measuring for curtains and everything so that's what we're going to be doing this weekend uh shopping for curtains okay so that's pretty much the latest updates uh for this week inside the house let me go ahead and walk outside real quick so you can get an idea what's going on there and again i'm thinking about doing a stream video stream on I'm not sure what day, but somewhere between the 9th and the 15th. Uh, <laughs> I've never done it before, so eh, I might go horribly wrong. But the point of me sharing this experience is uh, so that you can get to see what uh, a Japanese carpenter would do. And not necessarily someone like me that does not know what he is doing. And, and attempt a DIY. Uh, nothing wrong with that, absolutely not. I wish I had the time and the skill set to do that. I mean, I think it's very uh, uh, self, uh, uh, an accomplishment to do such a task. But uh, yeah, I just, I just don't feel confident doing it myself. As you have seen throughout the house already, uh, everything is pretty much new, like a new house. From starting from the concrete slab that was poured under the wood floor, the electrical, the plumbing, the you know the the shikui, the sheetrock, and everything else. So I just don't have the skill set, you know. So uh, I just uh, did not even want to try that. Okay, so that was pretty much it uh, in the inside of the house. So let me go ahead and walk around real quick and show you what's going on on the exterior. Uh, let's see, so they got the, uh, like I said before, the electrician has been running the new electrical panel here on the side of the house. 
coming from that pole over there on the end of the property um they were plastering the uh, laundry room a few days ago that's nice and dry now okay so the guest house so the casita they are going to start it monday he said uh today is friday so it looks like monday they will be starting in the guest house they already have all the materials here ready to go uh the window the insulation sheetrock is inside the house right now yeah so we expect this to be done pretty quickly um the uh if you have not uh tuned in before so this little guest house uh is uh just for you know guests and friends and family but on the other end they're going to add a toilet and a shower behind that wall right there i'll go ahead and make it around so they they already laid the foundation for the shower and the toilet in this area right here and spinning around to the old carport new outside kitchen what which i'm calling and uh so yeah this is the exterior of the kitchen annex eventually i'm gonna remove this this roofing right here and put something nicer sand all this down and repaint it and whatnot so uh yeah, just so many projects so please stay tuned for that all right one last thing before we call it a day so again thanks for tuning in if you like what you see so far please hit like and subscribe uh so right here is the uh the repair that they did on the the roof the guy was here earlier and i was just admiring his handiwork and i was telling him that uh uh eventually i need to do kind of the same for the rest around the house i think uh, there are no leaks or anything like that but just the plaster that was on there originally it's just quite old so um yeah so uh eventually i need to fix that all right folks so thanks again for tuning in let me go ahead and uh, call it a day for today and uh please stay tuned shortly i'm trying to do this once a week until we're done so that everyone can stay up to date with what's going on here at the house all right folks have a great day thanks